When I first started teaching, I did the mother thing. Because I came from kindergarten. You're hugging kids, you're sliding on slides and swinging on swings and looking at bugs on the ground. And I brought that joy into my high school career. And that kind of group interaction that's going on, that also started in kindergarten. I teach many classes with multiple grades and multiple subjects. Over here is digital electronics. We have the principles of engineering. These guys back here are trying to get our first robot ready. I have um, AP Physics B and AP Physics C. They're gonna make the pig fly up here. So T cosine theta is gonna be equal to mv squared over r. Problem solving is like right Greek to r. most people. The square root of gm over r. That, I remember I did it in the lecture? Yes. I gave you that equation, yes. right. They've gotta do a lot of processing inside their brain. Their brains have to be wired. You can't learn physics from me. You have to learn physics from you doing the physics. The thing that, that you grow through the most, I think, is getting to those kids who are working hard and not succeeding. They come to class every day, they do everything I ask, but they were not passing the AP exam. So I decided I was not going to tolerate that. In my particular practice, you have to reevaluate all the time. You know, if somebody fails, then it's my fault. And how do I fix that? What I did was I found a way that works through best practice, talking to other people, and putting it together. And, and now my AP Physics kids passed the exam. Do we have it yet? Yes. yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. All right. We're it's good. satisfying to just hear the kids say, you know, I got it. Just on a day-to-day -day basis, I got it. There's nothing better than that.